before we get to the Nike Vapor Flies, I just have to mention that I, the reason this footage looks so good today, filming with a GoPro and a gimbal, and basically this gimbal was brought to you by Treadmill TV. So I'm giving them a shout out, upper right hand corner, go check them out. Basically they post videos on their YouTube channel for when you're running on a treadmill. So it's like all this footage, you just watch the TV and or watch your tablet or watch whatever, your phone I guess, and you can basically go along the journey of me carrying this gimbal and this GoPro on the entire trail run, which took 38 minutes. So pretty cool stuff. All right, back from the trails. That was fun. That was fun, right? Nike Vapor flies on dirt. Has anyone else ever done that? I don't know, I don't know. I'm waiting for the family to get home so we can uh, have dinner together. And then I'm gonna pull out the macro lens, the macro lens. That is a lens that can zoom really, really close to the details of this Nike Vaporfly. So I wanna see how did the foam on the bottom of the Vaporfly 4% fly knit hold up on the dirt? I'll give you my thoughts, my opinions on the shoe here in a minute on the dirt. Stay tuned, you two. Folks, we have a predicament. The boys want to see, remember yesterday I published a video, go check it out. I jumped into a Canon 1D and basically the boys are curious as to how I got inside that camera. So they want to watch me get inside the Canon 1D. Maybe I should just show them on YouTube. You're going to show me something in the kitchen. I was gonna show you something in the kitchen, True oh, Love. what is it? The boys are asleep. Yes. I'm gonna show you something, but you can't say what it is. Okay, You just that's look. gonna be hard. I, right. All right, it's zip gonna, your lip. Zip, zip your lip. Zip your lips, everyone. Okay. okay. Am I Irish? That's kind of hard. Okay, okay. All right. Hold on. So you just have to kind so of So I'm look. looking there or here? Um, maybe uh, close your eyes for a second. Okay. Okay, okay. And open and you can look at the computer and that was today yesterday's right here uh-huh <laughs> so dun, 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 one day dun, dun, dun. we cannot we cannot tell you but we just i just had to show true love i just hey, had to show true so love beautiful. isn't that you exciting so hun exciting exciting that's really really exciting mm. True love's excited. True love's excited. More on that soon. All right, folks. Question of the day. Can you wear the Nike Vapor Flies out on the trails? Can you do it? Has anyone tried? Just curious. And if you can't answer that because you've never tried, how did you end up finding this video? Like, was it through YouTube search? Was it a suggested video? Just let me know. Just let me know. You saw the test. You saw the dirt, the mud, the rocks. But remember, one week ago, I did a 10K time trial in these same shoes, and afterward, I said this. Uh, basically, if you get more than like 100 really quality miles out of this shoe, I bet the return on energy, that 4% that they claim, is going to start to diminish. So I'm going to actually not store these shoes out here in the cold. And I get it. I get it. These shoes are not made for trails. I repeat, these vapor flies are not made for trails. They are made for fast racing on the roads. However, I'm traditionally a trail runner. I love running ultra races, long distance trail races, and so I could not resist. I couldn't resist trying these shoes out on the dirt and the mud, and it was interesting. It was very interesting. After a 10K time trial, a one mile time trial, and now testing them out on the dirt, I can safely say that this shoe performed pretty well on multiple surfaces. It's interesting. And so you guys have seen the outsoles on these vapor flies, these 4%, like there is nothing on the bottom of these shoes. No lugs, no traction, very, very barren on the bottom of these shoes. But today on the uphill, I did great. Like I wasn't slipping around at all. It was the downhill that I felt just a little timid, probably because it was my first time trying them on the dirt downhill. But I was going a little slower than I usually do because, you know, you don't have any traction. I would not recommend wearing this shoe on trails. The only time I would think about wearing this shoe is if I was racing on a pretty flat dirt road or dirt, um, 
like creek path that's really buffed out and a lot of runners use it all the time. For example, in Denver, Colorado, we have the High Line Canal. It's like a it's like a dirt road basically and it's flat. That's when I would consider racing in this shoe for a 10k or a half marathon or a marathon. Um, speaking of which, shall we examine what uh, with the macro lens what the the dirt did to the bottom of these shoes and the sides? Let's, let's take a look. Let's zoom in a little bit. So thank you for being here. Thanks for the support and watching. And if you made it this far, type trail down in the comments to let me know the word trail, one word, just type it down there to let me know that you're here. And I'd love to connect, answer any questions you have about the Nike shoes or about trail running or long distance running. It's kind of what I like to do. It's what I like to do. All right, time to go inside and charge up. Thank <music> you.